Hello everyone, my name is Chad Smith and today I'll be talking to you about Simplicity Alarming. This is part one in a series of demonstration videos talking about how to set up Simplicity Alarming and use it. So today we're just going to do a simple setup of your first alarm using the Simplicity Point database. We'll start in the workbench and create a new point. We'll call it temperature for the purposes of this demo. We'll be using it as a virtual point. Of course, you can set up alarms on device points and of different types. Our temperature will be an analog point. We'll say that normal operating temperatures are around, let's say 15 degrees. And we want to specify when we want we want an alarm indicating that that temperature is out of an acceptable range. So we'll give it an alarm message. Check the temperature. And this is a really simple alarm just using a, a level alarm, the limit specifying what limits are in the alarm. So if normal operating temperature is 15, we may want to say that it, when the temperature gets above 30 degrees Celsius, it's getting too hot, and if it gets above 35 degrees Celsius, that's way too hot. So we'll give that a high, high alarm. We also want to say that if the temperature starts getting too low on our sensor, that we want to be warned as well. So let's say minus 5 is getting a little bit uh, worrisome, and even more worrisome is if it gets below minus 15. So this sets up the parameters by which the runtime will specify that this value is in alarm. So we'll do, we'll create that point and we'll go to our sim edit screen that I've created. You can see that I've already created a alarm summary view and we will go ahead and bring in a temperature value that we just created make it a little bit bigger and uh, we'll set that up so that we can change the value so we can see the alarm come into effect and we'll just for now we'll just make that an integer value so if we go to runtime you can see that we have a number of alarms already happening in the system in subsequent videos we'll show you how you can filter those alarms so that you see only of the alarms that are pertinent to your situation or to your user. For now, we'll go ahead and uh, show how an alarm will happen if we get out of the bounds we configured for the temperature point. So 15 is normal, so there's no alarm right now. If I go ahead and say this temperature rose up to 36 degrees, you can see that we get an alarm in our alarm summary at a high, high level, telling us to check the temperature. If I bring that value back down to the normal operating range, you can see it goes into a normal state, but doesn't leave the window because we've got our system configured to require an operator to acknowledge an alarm before it goes out of the queue. So if I acknowledge that alarm, you can see it disappears. And then if I go down to say negative 20, we'll see a low, low alarm appear. And similarly, we can acknowledge that. And then when the alarm goes back into a, a normal operating range, it leaves the system. So there's your simple alarm setup with simplicity. And we'll go into more details on some of more, the more advanced alarming concepts and simplicity in subsequent videos.